As technology continues to evolve and become an integral part of our daily lives, it's easy to get caught up in the digital clutter. From overflowing email inboxes to the constant barrage of social media notifications, it can be challenging to stay focused and productive. However, by taking the time to practice digital decluttering, you can streamline your digital life, reduce stress, and increase your overall well-being. In this video, we'll explore various strategies for practicing digital decluttering and regaining control over your digital space. Number 1. Assess your digital clutter. In today's world, digital clutter can be just as overwhelming and disruptive as physical clutter. The constant influx of notifications, emails, and social media updates can make it challenging to focus and be productive. Therefore, it's essential to assess your digital clutter and take steps to declutter your digital life. The first step in digital decluttering is to assess your current digital clutter. This includes everything from your email inbox, social media accounts, and even your computer desktop. It's important to take the time to evaluate what is causing the most digital clutter in your life and address it accordingly. One way to assess your digital clutter is to take note of what distracts you the most. Is it a constant barrage of notifications from your phone or email? Or is it the clutter on your desktop that makes it challenging to find important documents quickly? Take note of what is causing the most disruption and take steps to address it. Another way to assess your digital clutter is to review your subscriptions and online accounts. Are you subscribed to newsletters and websites that you no longer read or find valuable? Are you following social media accounts that no longer serve a purpose or bring joy to your life? Unsubscribe or unfollow these accounts to simplify your digital life. Number two, create a digital decluttering plan. Are you feeling overwhelmed by the amount of digital clutter in your life? It's time to take action and create a plan to declutter your digital life. In this chapter, we'll discuss how to create a digital decluttering plan that works for you. Identify your priorities. Start by identifying your priorities. What are the most important digital items that you use on a daily basis? This could include work-related documents, personal photos, or important emails. Identify which items are essential and which ones are not. Decide what to keep and what to delete. Once you've identified your priorities, it's time to start sorting through your digital clutter. Decide what you want to keep and what you want to delete. Be ruthless and remember that decluttering is about simplifying your life. Organize your files. After deciding what to keep, organize your files in a logical and easy to use way. This could include creating folders for different types of files or using a digital file management system. Create a backup plan. It's important to have a backup plan for your digital files. Consider using cloud storage or an external hard drive to store important files in case of a computer crash. Set digital boundaries. To prevent digital clutter from accumulating again, it's important to set digital boundaries. This could include limiting your social media use unsubscribing from unnecessary emails, or deleting apps that you no longer use. Number 3. Manage Digital Consumption In today's digital age, it's easy to get lost in the endless stream of notifications, emails, and social media updates. The constant barrage of information can leave us feeling overwhelmed and stressed out. That's why it's important to manage our digital consumption and establish healthy boundaries for our technology use. One way to manage digital consumption is by setting specific times for checking email and social media. Instead of constantly checking for new notifications, set aside designated times during the day to check your inbox and social media accounts and social media account. This can help you stay focused on your other tasks and reduce the temptation to get distracted by your phone. Another way to manage digital consumption is by turning off notifications for non-essential apps. While it's important to stay connected, we don't need to be notified every time someone likes our photo or sends us a message. By turning off notifications for non-essential apps, we can reduce the constant interruptions and distractions that can come with technology use. It's also important to take regular breaks from our digital devices. Whether it's taking a walk outside, reading a book, or practicing mindfulness, taking time away from our screens can help us recharge and refocus. This can also help reduce eye strain and other physical symptoms associated with excessive screen time. Finally, 
Consider using digital tools that can help you manage your digital consumption. There are apps and programs available that can help you track your screen time, limit your use of certain apps, and even schedule breaks throughout the day. By using these tools, you can become more mindful of your technology, use and establish healthy habits for the long term. Number four, implement digital minimalism. Digital minimalism is the practice of using digital technologies in a way that maximizes their benefits while minimizing their negative effects. It is a way of taking control of your digital life and reducing the clutter and distractions that can lead to stress, anxiety, and burnout. Here are some tips to help you implement digital minimalism in your life. Evaluate your digital tools. Take a close look at the digital tools and technologies you use regularly. Which ones are essential and which ones can you do without? Are there any that you can replace with simpler, more streamlined alternatives? Consider deleting apps and accounts that you no longer need or use. Set boundaries. Set clear boundaries for your digital use. Decide on specific times of day when you will check email, social media, and other digital platforms. Avoid using digital devices for at least an hour before bedtime, as the blue light emitted by screens can interfere with sleep. Focus on quality over quantity. Rather than mindlessly scrolling through social media or binge-watching TV shows, focus on high-quality content that enriches your life. This could include reading books, watching documentaries, or listening to podcasts. Practice mindfulness. Be mindful of your digital use and its impact on your life. Take regular breaks from screens to rest your eyes and reduce mental fatigue. Consider taking up meditation or yoga, which can help you cultivate a more mindful approach to life in general. Prioritize real-world interactions. While digital tools can be useful for staying in touch with friends and family, they should never replace real-world interactions. Make time for face-to-face -face conversations, outdoor activities, and other offline pursuits that bring you joy and fulfillment. Number 5. Creating a Digital Decluttering Routine Now that you have assessed your digital clutter, created a plan, and implemented digital minimalism, it's time to create a routine for digital decluttering. Just like how we clean our living space regularly to keep it tidy, we need to declutter our digital space regularly to maintain a clear mind. Here are some tips to help you create a digital decluttering routine. Set aside specific times for digital decluttering. Choose a time that works for you and make it a regular part of your schedule. This can be daily, weekly, or monthly, depending on your needs and the amount of digital clutter you accumulate it you accumulate. Prioritize. Start with the most important items that require decluttering. It could be your email, inbox, social media, or digital files. Tackling them in order of importance will help you maintain focus and avoid feeling overwhelmed. Be consistent. Consistency is key to maintaining a clutter-free digital space. Once you've set your digital decluttering routine, stick to it. Over time, it will become a habit and you'll start seeing the benefits of a clutter-free digital space. Use technology to your advantage. There are many digital tools available that can help you manage your digital clutter, such as apps that organize your files, block distracting websites, or manage your email subscription. Reflect and adjust. Regularly reflect on your digital decluttering routine and adjust it as needed. If you find that you're still feeling overwhelmed or have new sources of digital clutter, make changes to your routine accordingly. Congratulations on completing day 16 of our Minimalism Challenge. Subscribe now to join us tomorrow for day 17 of our 30-day Minimalism Challenge, where we'll be exploring digital decluttering, the ultimate guide to a cleaner, more organized digital life. We'll provide you with even more unique and creative tips to help you achieve your minimalism goals. See you then!